Hey YouTube, my last video is getting a lot of hits, getting a lot of likes. I really appreciate you guys for hooking me up and looking out for everybody else out there in the world and treating them with respect and dignity. So this particular video that I'm doing right now is going to be simply about one particular thing. A lot of my clients knows this test and I'm just going to call it the supermodel test. All right. So I'm going to give it to you real quick. So what I want y'all to do is literally pull out a calculator or, you know, if you're mathematically inclined, do some, you know, some mathematics, right? So I want you women, and this is specific, this is actually not specifically to women. It's actually, spe it's specifically to everybody, but I want you guys to internalize these questions really, really carefully. How many women do you know personally? That's the first question. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time to actually think about that. All right. All right. Now, once you've answered that question in your head, write it down. Write down that numerical value. I want you to write down a specific number, whether it's one, whether it's a hundred, whether it's a thousand. I want you to write that number down. You got it? All right. Here we go. Now, here's the first the first real question of the supermodel test. How many women do you know that are over five feet, nine inches tall? All right. Now, after that, the next question is, how many of them are visually attractive? I mean, where members of the same sex, members of the opposite sex, all in are in agreement that this person is really an attractive person, that you cannot stop staring at them because they are so beautiful. All right. Next question. How many of them weighs under 140 pounds. All right. Now, if at any point in time you answered none or you eliminated a whole bunch of people out of your list and then you finally got down to the, the number zero, you have failed the supermodel test. What that means is you're normal. Why is why did I give the supermodel test? Because what I'm trying to explain to you is, is that the reason why supermodels exist is because they are the most, not necessarily beautiful people in the world, but they are the most attention grabbing people in the world. I mean, think about it. If you, if you run into a woman who's over five feet, nine inches tall, she's somebody that you're going to look at regardless of whether she's attractive to you or not. You're going to stare at this woman because she's five feet, nine inches tall, which is not exactly normal, right? So let's start there. So because fashion designers thought it would be a good idea to put their clothing on women who command attention immediately on sight. Now next. Oh, I forgot one question. Well, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. But now the next thing is, do they weigh under 140 pounds at 5'9 and taller? So now... The reason why that is, is because they want to use as little material as possible to create their wonderful creations. So as a result of that, they, that is, it's an economic issue. It's not even about how you look in their clothes. It's really more about how much money are they spending making those clothes and in opposed to how much they sell it for. So you're really making yourself feel bad over an economic issue, not necessarily a personal preference of the universe, right? Last but not least, visually attractive, meaning can't stop staring at them. Now, that does that mean that women who are under 5'9 and over 140 pounds aren't visually attractive? Obviously not, because we have Sports Illustrated models, we have um, Lane Bryant models, we got um, guest gene models who are all over 140 pounds and some of them are under 5'9", some of them are over 5'9", that are all visually attractive enough for you to pay attention to how they look in these ads, right? So what does that mean? There's absolutely nothing wrong with who you are. So what, what I'm getting at is the supermodel test is to point out that supermodels are a celebration of the rarity of seeing such females out in public. 
That is all why we celebrate the supermodel. That is only reason. That is the only reason why we go got bonkers about supermodels. Now, go back into your life. Go back to those no numerical of women. Now, any of those questions that I originally asked may not apply to them, but I guarantee you other questions that eliminated them do in fact apply to them. So let's again go reiterating. Yeah, you might know some women that are over 5'9". Yes, absolutely. You might know some women who are visually attractive, but they're not over 5'9". So guess what? They Even though they failed the supermodel test, they're still beautiful women. And last but not least, just because they're over 140 pounds doesn't mean they're less attractive it just means they're over 140 pounds simply enough so what i want you to do is sit back reflect on what i'm telling you and keep that in mind as you become the best you don't forget to click share and like my video have a nice day be the best you